Hey guys. Hey. I'm excited to open this bottle and drink. I'm excited about opening this bottle too. What are we drinking? This is called She's My Cherry Pie. It's a Maker's Mark store pick from RHKWW and it's from some places around St. Louis. Uh, Papa Joe picked this up for me. Uh, I bought it from him. Thank you so much, Papa Joe. But this is something that's supposedly fantastic. The pick they did, I think they did one before, and this is the second version. And I, I, I think it's the St. Louis Bourbon Society in partnership with, with a restaurant slash uh, store that sells bourbon. Can I just say that I'm really excited to taste it? I hope it, I hope it tastes the way it sounds. Jamie. 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 Shh. We have to listen to the cork pop. You almost <laughs> elbowed me in the face. If only I would have done it. <laughs> I try to get like way in here because you told me it makes me look skinnier if I'm in the middle. It's true. That's why I always <laughs> hog the middle. So I poured mine first because I'm a gentleman. I can already smell it. It smells good. I smell cherry. Oh, yeah. It does smell like cherries. Really? It smells like chocolate cherry cordials. Like those cherry covered chocolates. Mm -hmm. Like with those the cream. So with the like sugary cream sauce in the middle. Mmm. I like uh, that. I'm excited for this one. See, he thinks he's funny on this <laughs> on my channel. I am funny. <laughs> Ooh, cherry pie. <coughs> I taste the crust. Like the dough almost tastes like it's not done. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cherry. Ooh, that's spicy. Really? I don't. It's the proof. I think it comes in at 111 proof. Let me confirm. 110.7 proof. Yeah, but the spice spiciness just kind of disappears and mm -hmm. oh, that's really good. This mm. is very desserty. It is. So for those of you that care, the stave profile is one baked American, three seared French, one maker forty six, one roasted French, and four toasted French spice. So that's how they made it. They took a barrel, they put those staves into it, let it sit for four months in that cool cave we went into. So do you think that um, if we left this opened a little bit for a little while, it would probably lose a little bit of that spiciness? Yes. Because I think I would like it better if it wasn't so proofy. Mm -hmm. Because, wow, it's, it's pretty good. My experience with Maker's Marks is... When you leave them open, let them air out a little bit, they lose a little bit of the spice, a little bit of the kick, and they tend to get a little sweeter. That's really good. Thank you, Papa Joe. Yeah, it was a great pick. <laughs> it's an amazing pick. So it, to me, it's very, it's got a nice, like, not like a candied cherry, but it's like an actual fresh cherry. Fresh cherry. It's like fresh cherry with, I'm getting, I'm getting quite a bit of spice still. But I'm, I actually am not tasting the spice. I'm feeling it in like my chest and my throat more so. So I think it's the alcohol. So I haven't had anything to drink today. Somebody's not able to hold his proof today. <laughs> I guess not. That's good. It is good. I can't believe how spicy it is though. So when I say uh, like a soft dough, not cooked dough, do you know what I mean by that? Is Does... there a different like taste that you can think of that maybe I'm missing. Does it remind you of the smell of the distiller's beer in the in the distillery? You know that that the the yeasty bready smell is it kind of that? Mm -mm. No. No, I don't even get any of that thought or anything. It just it it's I think I what it is, you know the cherry pies that are cold um Oh, like the hostess yes. pies that are filled with cherries in the sauce? Pie crust, and it's not really a true pie crust. It's almost like a Pop-Tart crust. Maybe that's what And I'm... then it's, yeah, it's like a Pop-Tart crust. I, I'm glad I got this one. I've got a lot of Maker's Mark stuff, so um, 
but this one came highly recommended and it, it's actually really good. It's a, one of the better Maker's Mark Stave profiles that I've had of late. So I'm glad I got it, but uh, have too yeah. many of them. So Jamie's going to have to put this one on her shelf. I was about to say, I think I'm going to put this on my shelf. Let it uh, simmer down with that spice mm -hmm. for a little while. Well, we have that chocolate, the milk chocolate truffle one that we mm -hmm. got at the distillery. So these, and that one's really good too. Yeah, so this and that can be yours on your shelf. I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. David, are you enjoying the weekend? Uh, it's been fantastic doing <laughs> chores and working. Yeah, true. Anytime you want me to come down and drink in the speakeasy, I'm your man. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Way back a year ago.